Hello everyone! Welcome to Arrow on the Air. I'm Daria Lawson, bringing you this week's news in entertainment, sports, and local headlines. Let's get right into the stories. First, Nicolette Baker is going to tell us about a Southeast student that created her own club here at the university. Southeast campus is full of unique students, and here at the Arrow, we strive to feature their stories. Meet Megan Thompson, an interior design major and president of Ukulele Club, a club that she created by herself at Southeast. The Ukulele Club, which she founded, has given her the opportunity to showcase the joy that the instrument brings her. She first purchased a ukulele when her sophomore year roommate suggested that she purchase one on a whim. She did, she bought one online, and the instrument has brought her joy ever since. She said it's small and portable, and it gives her an opportunity to make music wherever she is. She's also involved in the club Emerging Leaders, and has joined other clubs such as Room for Improvement. She accidentally joined it when she stumbled into the club meeting, and has loved it ever since. If she could give one piece of advice to new freshmen, she'd recommend they try anything at least once. It's definitely worked out for her. For the Southeast Arrow, I'm Nicola Baker. Next up, the River Campus hosted Fall for Dance, a performance put on by Southeast dance students. Roman Holloway has more. Southeast dance students showed off their skills at the annual Fall for Dance production at Southeast River Campus. The event kicked off Thursday, November 19th and ran through Sunday, November 22nd. The Fall for Dance event took place inside the Bedell Performance Hall. The showcase consisted of two acts made up of five pieces in each act. The show expressed a variety of dance styles from contemporary pieces to an amazing aerial performance. The dancers weren't the only Southeast students hard at work, as members of the production staff assisted the show's design. The technical crew designed background images and lights that complemented the pieces on the stage. The dancers' costumes further explained the feeling and the emotion that each piece had presented. Throughout the whole show, the audience was electric. They were eagerly waiting for the next performance. After every piece, they were clapping and yelling, showing their support. Natalie Augustin, a student at Southeast, was a spectator in the crowd for the incredible event and was amazed at how great the performances were. This was my first Fall for Dance experience, and I was definitely super excited after the first act. The energy that the audience had watching all of these amazing artists perform what they do best really just made it so amazing. Fall for Dance is always an incredibly exciting event. Unfortunately, Fall for Dance was the last dancing event for the semester, but they'll be back performing January 27th through the 31st in their new show, Revenge of the Space Pandas. That'll take place at the Southeast River Campus and Padel Performance Hall. For the Southeast Arrow, I'm Roman Holloway. As the semester comes to a close, tis the season for graduation ceremonies. Bo Nations tells us a little more on the graduation for international students. Southeast held a reception for graduating international students in the University Center on November 19th. The Office of International Education and Services organized the event to congratulate the 65 international graduates and as a way of saying goodbye as they continue on their journey. The graduates include 28 bachelor's and 37 master's students, along with five students who completed the intensive English program at Southeast. Wildlife and Conservation Biology graduate Alini Takanashi attended the event and talked about her overall experience at Southeast. It was wonderful. The Southeast community is very accommodating. Everyone's very friendly. So it was overall just a really positive experience. We get the opportunity to learn so much more and meet so many more new people if we step out of that little bubble. So I definitely recommend that. The reception featured speeches from Executive Director Dr. Kevin Timlin, Director of Alumni Relations George Gasser, and President Carlos Vargas. A special slideshow was also compiled, which commemorated every graduating international student. Assistant Director of International Student Services Brooke DeArmond spoke about the meaning she hopes the graduates gain from their reception. They bring so much to this university, whether they realize it or not. And so one of the things, you know, that all the speakers always do such a good job of doing is telling them the difference that they've made here. And they point that out to the students and making them say, hey, you are really special. This is a great group, a great population to bring to the university to help diversify the campus. Um, It gives the domestic students this global view, especially as as the world is changing. Um, And so it's just a nice opportunity for us to be able to say, This is the difference you made. We hope you realize that. Congratulations to all of the international graduates. For the Southeast Arrow, this is Bow Nations. 
In university news, Southeast just welcomed a new member of staff. Maya Andrews has the story. Kathy Harper is the new director of university communications since September 28th, 2020. Harper speaks on her new position at the university. Um, it's very exciting, uh, you know, being part of the executive team, um, you know, reporting to the president and kind of just being involved and being able to help out on such a wide range of issues is, is very exciting. Um, you know, my, uh, my most recent positions have been on the marketing side, um, but I started my career on doing media relations and public relations. So um, it was nice to come back to that in this role. Uh, so it's been, uh, it's been fun, you know, getting back to what I guess I consider my roots of my career. You can locate her office in Academic Hall, room 145. And with the Southeast Arrow, I am Maya Andrews. Lastly, two students brought home awards from the Truman State University Film Festival. Nicolette Baker has more. Two Southeast students were selected for filmmaking awards at the Truman State University Film Festival. Student directors Randy Sargent and Jasmine Jones brought home three awards among the two of them. Sargent won Best Editing and People's Choice for her film The Alibi. It's a short comedy that features Ben, who is being investigated for a crime. Jones directed Missing, a short film that explores a young woman's experience with losing her mother, but then meeting a missing person. She said it was inspired by her own interest in missing person cases. It won first place in cinematography. Jones said she's thankful to be selected this year. It was really great. I was really surprised. There were some other beautifully shot films at the festival, so yeah, I was very honored. The film festival was virtual this year and recognized eight student films. It was hosted the weekend of November 5th through November 8th. For the Southeast Arrow, I'm Nicolette Baker. And Red Hawks, before we go, a congratulations is in call for. Why, you might ask? Well, in making it through this semester. We were certainly under some unique circumstances this fall, and it was truly a group effort to successfully make it all the way through. So on behalf of all of us at the Arrow, great job, and here's to making next semester just as strong, if not stronger. Thanks for listening to Arrow on the Air, part of the Southeast Podcast Network. For more news and podcasts, visit southeastarrow.com forward slash multimedia.